Welcome back, guys. We are in San Diego. We, we made, made it home it alive. Safe with the camper. Uh, we spent the last two or three days like cleaning and just making it pretty for the next couple, which is I'm gonna come tomorrow yep. to pick it up. And then we're camperless. Yeah, now we are camperless, yeah. <laughs> but this is not the reason why we are here. We are here for a different reason. Um, it's popular in Australia and hopefully you guys know as well here and hopefully it will get bigger. Um, this is the 1st of July and it's Plastic Free July. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain what it is? Yeah, Plastic Free July is an initiative to encourage people all over the world to take small steps that make a big difference and a big impact in their plastic and general consumption usage. So it's not about cutting out plastic entirely, though I've been doing this for five years and I did that one year and it was really empowering. Ow, Nala, stop it! No. Um, yeah. So here we have Excuse six, our puppy. Here we have <laughs> six products or six small actions that you can take to reduce your plastic consumption for this month and potentially for the future. And some of these we already use and some of them are new. We picked up today. We're super excited to create some new habits, especially because we have been doing stuff for a while. So first um, of all, number one. This one we've been doing for a while. These are reusable produce bags. They are fruit and vegetable bags. You could also put nuts and seeds and flowers in enclosed ones. Nala. I got these off Etsy. These are upcycled old lace curtains, which I think are really cute. And you just pack them in your reusable shopping bags and put all of your produce, your mushrooms, your spinach, your fruit and veggies in them. And, um, and the good thing about them, you can wash them and it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. put them in the washing machine and they are fresh we love them number two this is a new entry for me uh, it's a sh yeah. to the merman side. yeah to the merman I thought it was only for men but like yeah it doesn't make a difference uh, so it's a shampoo bar so I already cut like the soap the body wash so I'm just using like soap bar as the body wash and I found this at the shop today and I decided to give it a go. It's a simple shampoo bar and this way I will avoid to have a plastic bottle for shampoo. Mm -hmm. Plastic uh, bottles also take 450 years to break down one plastic bottle. So this makes a big difference. Yes. Yeah. Number two. Number two. This one I'm a little bit nervous about because I tried this a couple years ago and I didn't I'm love it. But it. Stefano is getting me excited. We already use bamboo toothbrushes and this is plastic free toothpaste. They are little tablets. You put one in your mouth, you chew it a little bit till it gets kind of foamy and then you brush your teeth with it. They have no nasty ingredients. Um, they still have bicarb soda in them to whiten your teeth and it's super handy for travel too. So yeah, yeah. we're excited but nervous about that one. Your favorite? This one is my new plastic free deodorant. This no. is a brand no. I love native because they are also toxin free. This is aluminum free and paraben free. And actually it costs the same price to buy the plastic free deodorant as the one in plastic. So it doesn't- It's a win-win. Yeah, it's a win-win. It makes no difference to your wallet and you're making a difference. New entry that we found today. We bought this today from a local woman who made this and we're super excited. This is powder natural laundry soap, all packaged plastic free. This is $12, um, which will last us probably the whole couple of months we're here. Yeah. Um, it also has no toxins, no fragrance. That stuff is really bad to be absorbed through your skin. I'm not about that at all. And I don't like scent, so this is on scented, but you can get essential oil scented ones as well. And the last one, but not least important. Most uh, important. No, most not least important. Most important. Coffee. Coffee filter. Yeah, these are for your pour over, your V60. We're not new to these. We had one of these that lasted us the last year yeah. and we gave it to my brother. And before that I had one that lasted a couple of years. So these are great. They replace the traditional white paper coffee filters that are actually bleached as well. So I'm not all about pouring hot water through bleach and then drinking it. That yeah. just sounds bad <laughs> to me. Sound, so we love these. You can just rinse them um, as well. They're super easy to clean. And this is $12 for two. So this is like four or five years worth of coffee filters for $12. So super good. So yeah. So what are we asking to do is just leave a comment down below and uh, just say whatever action you're going to take this month to reduce the plastic consumption and 
Sasha is all about this. So if you guys have any question or you want to talk with her, she would be happy. Or like, need ideas or yeah. swaps. I love doing it in a way that it doesn't cost you money. You don't lose out on convenience and you just make this a part of your, your normal life. So you doesn't feel any different really. Mm. Thank you for watching. We will also link the Plastic Free July so you can get some more information there and you can find more information on our Instagram page throughout July as well. And we will see you next time.